Okay, this video is just covering some basic stuff about when you're choosing um, the right canvas to paint on. Now, this doesn't matter so much since you can always change the size of stuff as you can see here within image, image size or image canvas size the difference being image size is going to change your whole image canvas size is going to change the size of the canvas without changing the the size of the actual content within that page whereas image size is going to change the content along with the canvas so um, in, in making a new file my considerations are is this image only going to be for viewing on the internet or on a computer or is it going to be do I want to print it later on so the consideration is firstly the resolution now resolution the default resolution and standard resolution for viewing on a computer monitor and other devices is 72 dpi so if you're just painting on screen just may as well go 72 dpi it's going to be a lot faster with your painting and you can't always change it later on to 300. 300 is the standard size for printing and although this varies um, but yeah the main the main number is 72 for web 300 for print some places might print higher than that but you know it's it's very rare it's rare circumstances such as if you're painting oh you're printing on a massive poster or something like that so some recommended settings um, is for painting I would say probably you can change on the side here to pixels you want to have at least you know um, you want to have at least 1200 on the width and probably 1000 on the height um, 72 that's pretty low res but you're going to paint really fast and um, you can't always change it um, another consideration for print or if you're viewing on the web is RGB or CMYK or you can change it grayscale but it's rare that you will do it straight in grayscale um, RGB being color red green blue CMYK being cyan magenta yellow and K for black so the printing process uses a CMYK process a 4, four ink process RGB is how pixels and color is um, displayed on a screen so if you're doing something for print and you don't want the color to change at all and you might want to make sure that you know what you see on screen is what you get with the print I recommend you paint in CMYK um, the problem you'll have with with printing and oh, sorry painting in CMYK is you're going to lose some of the um, filters and and adjustment layers and things like that that aren't compatible in Photoshop with CMYK um, but me personally whether I'm doing it for print or for you know um, for web viewing or posting on forums I tend to just paint in RGB and then if I do want to print it I'll switch it to CMYK if the color looks off just probably adjust it a bit with the with the um, adjustment layers and other cool um, powerful tools in Photoshop so yeah I recommend if you got a pretty slow computer you just want to sketch around these are pretty good settings you know a 1200 height 1000 sorry 12 1200 width, 1000 height, 72 dpi, and you know you'll be able to you'll be able to do some cool painting. Da da da. Draw a little frog.
Yeah, and you'll you'll have enough resolution to go in and paint him. See, so it takes takes quite a while for it to start getting pixelated. So um, yeah, these are nice quick settings. Yeah, so that's very basic stuff. Um, look out for more videos when we cover more fun stuff. This is for those um, who don't know everything, as we all don't know everything at one point. So yeah, for the beginners out there, hope you learned something. Uh, thanks for watching.